I am a prophet of God, the Father of Jesus Christ, who came to earth in the flesh, whose spirit is made incarnate upon the earth through the Holy Spirit. And I have been told to release this information. This is the first time that the seven churches of Revelations have been given to a human, so saith the Lord God Almighty. Why are these seven churches important? The main reason is that in these end times, in the next seven years, God wants one church. So when we take a look at the churches he's happy with and not so happy with, uh, people can kind of come together and realize that we're serving the same God here. He also needs a couple churches to wake up. They think they're okay, but they're not. So um, the way he wants me to release this, he realizes that uh, kind of decoding the Bible is a great joy for many Christians. So he is having me release uh, the categories of the seven churches, and then he would like to allow you all to see if you can figure out how they match up. You can uh, leave what you've thought in the, in the comments. At this point in time, I answer each and every comment, and I would love to see what you all come up with. Um, I don't know if he'll have me give hints. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so here are the seven churches of Revelations. Um, so each of these corresponds with one, one of the letters to the churches. There is a letter to Jews. There is a letter to Orthodox Christians, primarily in the Middle East. There is a letter for Roman Catholics. There is a letter for conservative Protestant churches. These would be um, those that were right after the Reformation and who have stuck to those beliefs and their culture um, is represented. In that and then we have the African American Church we have Protestant Europeans and we have the modern evangelical church this would include your mega churches um, and also a lot of non-denominational churches so these are the seven churches of revelations given to me by the Lord God Almighty. And I will eventually release uh, a video um, going through these with you. And you can see how they apply. Um, obviously, if you don't know much about these churches or how they're different from each other, then it's going to be harder. You can do a little research. Or maybe do a, what's that called? Process of elimination. All right. God bless you all. I hope you have fun in your quest to apply these to what is written in the Bible. Amen.